Hello! It's happy November. It's almost December, almost the end of the year. Um, today I wanted to show you, we're going to talk a, just like super short about the election. So I don't know if you know, but yesterday, Tuesday, um, we had our election day where you vote for a new president. So right now, Donald Trump is president. And yesterday, but everyone voted. And so now we don't know. We have to wait for a few weeks to see because they have to count the votes, right? One, two, three, four. So they have to count the votes. But I wanted to give you some election vocabulary. Um, and I want you to practice the pronunciation, like how you say the words, okay? So let's do it. All right, so this is vocabulary about the election, and our year is 2020. That's the year, election 2020. Okay, let's see, how do we advance? There we go. Okay, so an election, 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 election. An election is the process that the U.S. uses to choose a leader. You vote. See, you can see vote here. We vote in an election. Okay, so president, president. You're probably all familiar with that word. The elected leader of the executive branch of the United States government. So our government has three, three parts. There's the executive branch, which is where the president is. There's Congress, which is the House of Representatives and the Senate. It's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of people that vote and they make the laws. And then the third one is the judicial branch and that's where the judges are. So here is the legislative, that's Congress, so the House of Representatives and the Senate. The White House is the executive branch. That's the president and the vice president. We'll talk about the vice president. And the Supreme Court is part of the judicial branch, which also has federal and state courts. So the president is part of this middle, middle branch, the executive branch. Okay, so political party, political party, it's not a party like a birthday party, okay? That's not what that means. <laughs> political party. This is a group of people who share similar opinions about government. The U.S. has two main parties, the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. All right, if you want, you can pause the video and read these so you can find what's the difference. We do have more political parties. So there's the Green Party, there's the Libertarian Party, the Independent Party, but the Democratic and the Republican are the two big parties in the United States. Okay, so candidate. Candidate, candidate, candidate. So this is the people that you can vote for in an election, okay? So our 2020 presidential candidates, um, Joe Biden is the Democratic candidate and Donald Trump is the Republican candidate, okay? Donald Trump, so Joe Biden and Donald Trump are the presidential candidates. So there are lots of different um, races. Like I voted two weeks in the past and um, I voted for senator. I voted for a representative. I voted for judges. There's lots of different people, lots of different candidates, not only presidential candidates. There's lots of different types of candidates. Okay. A vice 
president. It's that V V sound, vice president, vice president. All right, so this is the person who a presidential candidate chooses to help them if they win the election. Also called a running mate, okay? So if the president dies, if he dies, then the vice president becomes the president. So, um, so the Democratic presidential, uh, vice presidential candidate is Kamala Harris. Kam Kam Kamala, there we go, Kamala Harris. And the Republican vice presidential candidate is Mike Pence. So right now, Donald Trump is president. Mike Pence is the vice president. So if Donald Trump dies, if he dies, then vice, then Mike Pence becomes the president. Because right now he's the vice president. So it's like the second in command. So Donald Trump is first. He's the leader. And then Mike Pence is the vice president. He would come next if Donald Trump dies. All right? Right now, that's how it works. And so if Joe Biden wins the 2020 election, then Kamala Harris would be the vice president. So Joe Biden would be the president and Kamala Harris would be the vice president. Okay. Let's see. All right. Political issues. Political issues. Political issues. An important topic to debate or discuss. In 2020, important issues are health care, immigration, the coronavirus pandemic. Okay? So some other things. There's some other ones. Abortion, gun control, gay rights. There's lots of different issues that people care about in the United States. All right. A debate. This is an event where the candidates talk about different issues. All right, we've had two debates. Uh, no, three, I'm sorry. There's two presidential debates where Joe Biden and Donald Trump were, and then one vice presidential debate where Kamala Harris and Mike Pence talked. Okay, so those are debates. That's how we find out how did they, what do they think about the issues? What do they think about the environment or the military or... Um, immigration. That's where the candidates talk. A debate. A debate. All right. A ballot. Ballot. So it's a B sound. So ballot. B -b -b ballot. Ballot. And make sure you say the T on the end. Ballot. Ballot. Okay. Um, a ballot is a piece of paper that you use to vote. Sometimes the ballot can be on a computer. So here's an example. See, these where it says President of the United States at the top, and then here's a bunch of different people that you can vote for. Okay, so this is a ballot. That's the that's the thing that you use to vote. Poll, poll, poll. I'll show you. Poll, poll, it's that L sound, poll. Okay, so a poll is the place where you go vote, also called a polling place, okay? So um, sometimes it's at a local school, sometimes it's at a library or a civic center. There are lots of different polling places. Usually they're buildings that are owned by the government. So like a gym, a recreation center. Um, yeah, lots of different polling places, especially on early voting. Lots of different places you can go. Okay, inauguration. Inauguration, 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 inauguration inauguration it's five syllables inauguration okay so this is the ceremony where an elected official takes office 
So here's a picture from Trump's first inauguration in 2016. So you can see his hand is on a Bible. This is when like Obama was president before Trump. And then at the inauguration, that's when Obama is not the president and now Trump is the president. So in the United States, our inauguration day is in January. So yesterday in November, we voted. And then in a few weeks, we'll know who's the winner. Is it Joe Biden or Donald Trump? And so then in January, that's when the new president or the, well, that's when the president takes over. So if Joe Biden wins, then he will be president in January. If Donald Trump wins, then he'll just stay president. Okay, and that's it. All right, so I'm going to send you a word search, and that's it for today. This week is going to be really easy. We will have our Zoom tomorrow. We'll do some dictations, maybe play a game. I don't know. I don't know. But um, I hope you had a good long weekend, and I will see you tomorrow.